last pack for your A-level on the stat side, the probability pack. Uh, right, let's have a look. So we know stuff from last year uh, that trials is a number of times you do something. Outcomes are the individual ways. Uh, event is how what, what you're selecting, so odd, greater than five. Sample space is a, a set of all the possible outcomes. We know that mutually exclusive can't happen together. Um, it's quite important that there is no overlap there. Independent events happen uh, if they're not affected by each other. And the complement is n it not happening. Uh, right, let's have a look then. Alright, so let's do two dice rolling. So, oh, we've done this at school, haven't we, really, before. Um, so it says, so two fair dice are rolled together. X represents the difference between the two scores. I'm glad I read that then. I was just going to do the numbers multiplied together. <laughs> Could you just see, they just had a minus in there. Uh, the difference between two scores. So I've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Got not one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Not one, two, three. One, two, three. So I'm not fussed if it's positive or negative. Or not. It's just a difference. One, not cool. Right then. Uh, so he wants a probability that exceeds three. So part A is the probability that X is greater than three. Right. So the only ones which are greater than three are the fours and the fives. So I've got one. Two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six of them out of two, four, six, thirty-six. So that's one sixth. So that's easy enough. The probability that x is a five. So B, the probability that x is five. So let's have a look then. So the probably x is five. There's only two of them. So it's two out of thirty-six, which is one out of eighteen. Right, now then, let's have a look at this next one. So it says the probability that x is 5, given that it exceeds a 3. Right. So probability that x is 5, given that x is greater than 3. Right then. Hmm. Let's have a think about this. How many numbers are greater than 3? So this bit here is telling you what you're selecting out of. I'm only selecting out of the numbers that are greater than 3. Whereas here, I was selecting out of all of them. So I'm only selecting from x greater than 3. Now there's only 6 of those numbers. So how many 5s are there? within those six numbers, within these six numbers here. And there's still two of them. So that's two over six. There. So that's one out of three. Now this is conditional probability, which is what we're working on uh, during this lesson, hopefully. Who knows? Right, let's have a look then. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. See, I'm not making it up. So the final part involves conditional probability. There. Right. So the probability that an event A happened, given that an event B has happened, is denoted by that. Now what you'll find is it's a straight line on here, but when people write it in packs, they do it like that. So if it's handwritten, it'll look more sloped than, it, than, uh, than a straight up. There. Right, okay. So it says a bag contains nine counters. Uh, six are blue and the rest are yellow. So I've got six out of nine and three out of nine there. If I take a blue out and don't replace it without replacement, then that would be five out of eight. Uh, that would be three out of eight because they've not changed. That would be two out of eight. That would be six out of eight there. Right, now then, I want the probability that both counters are the same colours. So if it's a probability of the same colour, uh, 
then it would be 6 out of 9 times 5 over 8 from both being blue, or 3 out of 9 times 2 out of 8 from both being yellow. And that would give us a half right now then. We've actually used conditional probability. Um, hang on. So the probability that y2 is selected, given that b1 is selected, is 3 over 8. Here, look, see. There. So that 3 over 8 has happened after the b1. It's linked to that b1 happening. There. So the second bit on your tree diagrams is conditional probability, because something has happened first. Right, let's have a look at the next question. Then. Next example. So we've got a Venn diagram. Uh, so use Venn diagrams to find. Now remember, if it's or, it's anything that's shaded. If it's and, it's where the shade overlaps. So for A or B, so I, I always like to draw myself a little picture. Uh, I haven't got a lot of room to be honest, but never mind. So for A or B, so A goes that way. B goes. Oh, I was supposed to change colour. <laughs> it's not change colour. B goes that way. So R is anything which is shaded. So that's going to be the 0 0.4, the 0 0.1, the 0 0.3 is 0 0.8. Now the AND is anything that where the overlaps are shaded. So for this one, if I draw a little picture of this one, got A and I've got B with hardly any overlap. Now it's A, all of A is that bit there including that overlap and not B. So not B is everything which doesn't include B. There. And if you look for and, if it's where there's an overlap, the only bit where there's an overlap is that part of it there, I'm not including this oh, the, the 0.1 because it goes around there, but you can't really tell on my picture. So the only bit that there, which is the overlapping part, is the 0.4. A we just know is 0.4 plus 0.1 is 0.5. Now then, the probability of A, given that, um, Uh, given that B. Right, so have a look. Right, so I always look at this bit first. So the given that B means it's only taken from B. And B has a probability of 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3. That's the only bit for B. Now look for the A bits in B. So the only A part which is in B is 0 0.1. So I've got 0 0.1 over 0 0.4 which is the same as a quarter there. Right, let's have a think about the next one then. So this is taken from, so it's A given that not B has happened. So this is taken from not B. Anything not B is the 0 0.4 and the 0 0.2. Now I've got to find A which is within that. So that can only be the 0 0.4 part of it. Because the 0 0.4 is in A and also in not B. So that gives me 0 0.4 over 0 0.6, which is two thirds. That's a good point to stop there on that one because I'm running out of time.